In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can create and write files using system calls in C. And generally, the way that we're gonna create files is using the same open system call that we've seen previously. We could provide a different flag to be able to create the file if it doesn't exist. And in general, for writing files, we're just going to use the write system call, which is a pretty simple system call when we look at it in context of things like read. It takes the same sort of argument, basically a file uh, pointer to actually write to, and then it's gonna take in some data to write and the size of that data, and it's gonna write that to the file. So you're gonna see that this is pretty intuitive for the most part, but there's a few new flags that we'll have to look at for creating files. So in terms of creating our files, we're gonna go ahead and set a variable equal to the open system call. I'm gonna create my file in this directory, home Scott uh, documents, we'll go to source C system. I'm gonna create a file called new.txt. Now to create a file, we need to provide a flag for that and that's O underscore create. Now, something that we also need to be able to do is we need to be able to write from this file when it's created. So we actually need to use two flags here. So we need to use o create, and then also o write only, which is owr only. So the way that we combine two flags together is we use an or like this. So we say this or o write only. The reason why we use an or is because if you take a look at these different flags, you'll see that they're actually defined in binary. So you see that this is one zero zero and this one is zero one. If I or these flags together, I'll get a one anywhere where there's at least one one. So basically what's gonna happen is these two flags could combine together and we end up with a single binary number that has both of the flags set. So that will set both the create and read only flags. That's why we use that or operator here. So generally, if you want to combine any flags, you just use that OR operator, and that will combine them together for you. Now, since we're creating a file, there's another argument we need to provide, which we haven't really touched on so far, which is going to be the mode. And if we come over to the open system call, we can see some information about that. So we have this mode flag here that we need to provide. And when we come down here, we can actually find the different arguments that we can provide for these. It's these values here, these symbolic constants. What these are doing is it's specifying the permissions of the file when it's created. So a file is gonna have different permissions based on who can actually read, write, and execute that file. And you'll see here generally the way that those are set. So you can see here, you know, user has read permission, user has write permission, user has execute permission, and then we have group-based ones and then other based permissions. It's the typical permissions you see in a Linux system. So if I want a user to be able to read, write, and execute this file, I would need to set these three values, six user, ir user, iw user. So we're gonna set those three values. So let's go ahead and do that. So if I come over here, we're just going to do s underscore ir user, right? And then I'm gonna use the or, like I said before, to combine any sorts of flags, we use the or. So we're gonna do siw user, and then it was six user, I believe. So it's these three flags is what we're working with here. So with this, the user should be able to read, write, and execute the file that we have created. So it should create the file for us. So if the FD is greater than negative one, it would imply to me that this actually did succeed in creating the file. The else here is gonna say, well, it wasn't able to create the file. So uh, we could say, you know, fail to create or open file. Something like this would probably be fine. And then generally what we could do inside of here is we could actually write some data into the file now that it's open. And to do that, we use the write system call. Write system call is pretty straightforward. We have a file descriptor that we provide, which is the FD that we got from open. We have some data that we want to write. Now you could put that data into a string. You could put it into a buffer. You know, a common example might be that you read some data from one file, you write it to the other. So you read into a buffer and then you write from that buffer into the file. Uh, you could use constant values, like uh, just like literal strings. That's what we'll do here. We'll just put in some, some data here. And you see that this one's a little bit more tricky to do because we actually have to look at this and say, okay, how many characters actually is this? Well, it's 11, so we'll put 11 here as a result. It's a bit easier to have it in a buffer because then we can just use you know, the size of the buffer to be able to do that. But uh, yeah, this is one way that we can achieve this as well. So what this will do is it will write test data with a new line character into the file that we have open and then our program will be completed. So with that, we have a working program that creates a file and writes that file. 
Let's go ahead and give this a try. So I'm just gonna clear my screen here. I'm gonna GCC that file. So my file is named main, so GCC main.c into an executable called main. We'll do dot slash main. That should have created a new file and it did, new.txt. You can see it's green here, which says that we have execute permissions on this file. If I actually do like a full LS here, you'll see that when we look at the permissions of this file that was created, it does have read, write, and executes in these first three slots here, which would imply that the user can read, write, and execute the file. So to see what's inside of the file, well, we could just cat the file and take a look. And you can see that it does indeed have test data inside of it. So you see that it actually did write that data into the file. The file is created, it's on our computer. Everything looks to be working as expected. So you now know how to create and write to files using system calls in C. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.